As of right now, as the executive director, I look over a building of 27 people. Um, half of them do work and half of them are on disability. And what my role there is to make sure that the rules are being followed, that the needs of the residents are being met, and offer a spiritual side to it too. We used to have a TV in our day room, um, but I felt a lot of the guys around there were just simply just sitting around. So we took out the flat screen TV and we put tables and chairs up there and Bibles. And we started doing some classes and it's really starting to take off. I see it's already starting to take off. Um, right now, um, we're in, I think the Apostle said, 13 different countries. Um, everybody knows the Victor Center in the, in the town of Clinton, Iowa and the surrounding areas. Um, a lot of people, um, I mean, this is their, this is their, uh, their outreach, I guess. It's just, you know, you don't get turned away here. And as soon as you walk through the doors, and that was the first thing that I noticed when I came through these doors way back when, it's just the outpouring of love. Um, you don't be, you're not ju being judged for anything. Um, everybody has done wrong in the past. You know, we're all sinners and all that. But just, just as Jesus loves us, these people love us as well. Well, I believe that each time that a person comes through here, um, seeds are being planted, whether it's just coming through here with a warm face and that Jesus loves you to the food that we give away. Um, the chapel services. I think that there's a big part of Jesus in everything that's in this ministry. Um, we make everything very clear, especially at my building, um, when you come into this um, to this facility and all that. Um, we don't accept any nonsense, but we're here to help you and love you and motivate you to get on with your life and um, to always plant seeds in people's lives and change lives because um, there's a much greater life with Jesus in it. Disciple, oh, I know that um, once I learned about Christ, um, I felt the need to, I have a big, big uh, heart for the lost and the poor. Um, it makes me upset when people look down. Um, it clearly states, you know, Jesus loves the poor and we're supposed to help him and all that. And I feel that um, once you learn um, the basic roles of being a Christian, um, it's your duty to go out there and spread the word and to most importantly use your testimony um, to reach out to somebody because um, your testimony is uh, your testimony is the key. I mean, I was a drug addict. I went to prison. You know, I felt worthless and all that, and I accept God in my life. And you know, look where I am today. You know. I'm very happy, despite my health and all that, I still have a peace. It's, it's a peace of, you know, that surpasses all understanding, which is only coming through Jesus. And um, if I didn't have that, I, I, I wouldn't be here today. I know I wouldn't. Uh, we also have um, the transitional housing where we offer, um, we offer the bed, a dresser, a table. Uh, we give them linen um, and hygiene products, stuff like that. Um, they come in, um, we go through like a little bit of a probation period. Um, they're asked to keep their rooms clean. We do all the cleaning for them. We offer washer and dryer, which is free of charge. Um, we ask these guys to not drink and drug. We do not play around with that. You know, we'll do a breathalyzer. You know, it's just pretty much keeping you honest. I mean, this is not a flop house, but a place where you can get your life back together and to go back out on your own and stuff, but to also instill the seeds and put the word of Christ as, as many opportunities as we can get, that's like I said, why we took the TV out of there. Um, I feel that the word of Christ needs to be um, definitely in their lives because these guys are coming from home to home or maybe from the river, you know, people sleep under the bridge, stuff like that. I mean, if I can just install a little bit of Jesus in them, you know, and let them know that there's hope and at least somebody does love you, whether or not your family doesn't love you or, you know, stuff like that. Um, I feel it's very important to when these guys come back, they can actually call it home. It's just not a sleeping room, but it's home. It's a safe haven for them and that there's love there. Well, with the Victory Center, you know, we're always in need of, you know, cash donations so we could further our resources to help other people. Um, food, uh, stuff like that, blankets, towels, anything that we can have to help others um, is a big need, especially around the holidays and stuff like that. Um, we have so many people that come in here 
and we're pretty much the only place around here um, that helps out people and um, we help out lots and lots of people especially around the holidays um, it's just it's vital for our ministry to get this support that we need right now because I know that if that support wasn't there when I came through here like I said I wouldn't be here um, we just don't turn people away just like Christ you know you don't turn people away he he loves the poor and that's 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 our duty years ago I only thought about myself when I was out in my addiction stuff like that and um I learned a better way and um I feel that um Jesus is proud of me my mom would have been proud of me um the satisfaction of helping somebody out is better than any kind of money or anything that I've ever experienced um just a sense of peace to see somebody smile just um you know, sometimes I just move to tears and stuff like that because, I mean, when you're starting to go through the Bible, and I'm such a new Christian right now, um, it just brings a, a little bit of a, an emotion to me because it's just like, you know, somebody took the time out of their lives to talk to me, and now I'm able to do the same, and that's the same thing that I wanted to do today. I don't care about my finances. I don't care about where I live. Um, my main thing right now is to plant seeds and um, get them ready for the harvest because Jesus is going to be coming pretty soon. And um, I just want everybody to know the seriousness of this because this isn't, we're not promised tomorrow. Um, it's very serious. No matter what you're going through, no matter what your circumstances have been, whether you have health issues or you've been in prison before you've had a drug problem no matter what no matter what you have done the most important thing to always remember is jesus loves you as you are and he'll always be there all you have to do is simply ask him into your heart and he will show you a, a new life that you will just it'll just overwhelm you and um i'm a true testament to that and um if it wasn't for me giving my life to jesus like i said i wouldn't be here today Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.